There's the city. And here we are, about 23 kilometers away from home, on the banks of the St. Lawrence. Pretty groovy little spot. Have some lunch, kick it on back. Listen to the birds. So I brought along the uh, A-Lite Monarch camp chair. It's a nice thing to have along. It's definitely a luxury, something you don't need. But I find that after riding for an hour or two, my back gets sore. And this is a great little thing to sit in because it really lets you recline and even rock a bit. So it's pretty simple. You got the chair itself, nice light fabric, breathable with the mesh, and you got this batty set of poles. I just have this incurable weakness for shock corded aluminum. <laughs> right? So all the poles just pop together. See, there we go. And you got silver tips on the back. And you got gold tips on the front that correspond to the pockets on the back. So we'll pop these gold tips in first. There you go. Just like so. So gold and gold and then silver and silver. It's a bit awkward. That's the only thing that I don't like about this chair. There it is. A little awkward to get into as well. But once you're in, baby, you are in. And it feels so fine. Hey, it's rocking. It's rocking. It's pretty goddamn groovy, if I may say so. This house. Okay, uh, I guess one thing I wanted to do today was just to uh, showcase this, um, what do you call it? Hobo stove, alcohol stove combination kit that I've made and played with over the years. So we're gonna make some lunch. I'm gonna do a cup of tea first with the alcohol stove to show you that because it's pretty awesome, cool. And then uh, we'll fire up the wood burner and make lunch proper. Okay, let's unpack this and get ready. This is the uh, IKEA fire pot. Lovely thing. We'll set that aside. We don't need that right now. That's our homemade billy can. Inside of that, we have uh, some pegs for the wood burner. We have a fuel bottle for the alcohol burner, a sponge, a lighter and our alcohol stove which is a variant of what do they call it the fancy feast stove it's nice because it does not require a pot stand so we'll load up some water fuel up and give this a go there's our fuel that's about an ounce yep Just light that, and I hear it going, so that's good news. We'll put our pot on, there we go, and we'll drop our windscreen around there, just to hold the heat in. Mm, just push a couple of rocks in place, Bob's your uncle. We'll wait for that to boil. It's kind of like watching paint dry. Okay, steam's coming out here. I don't know if you can see that. It's boiling away to beat the band. So we'll take that off. That's done. Make ourselves a cup of tea. Yeah, baby! That's still burning, that alcohol, so I'll just leave it alone. And we'll fire up the wood burner. Next, stay tuned.
So uh, I've just loaded up the uh, twig stove with twigs. I'm going to take my windscreen and put it inside the pot cozy. That way when, uh, when my pot gets all black and sticky, it sticks to this and not the cozy. Hard lessons learned. Yeah. We'll spark this up. I'll come back as soon as it gets going. So, Parmesan pesto with, with, uh, what is that? Flaked light tuna, lemon, and pepper flavor. Good stuff. Lots of calories there. We're looking at about, I did the calculation yesterday. So it's like 600 calories total between these two things. So, yeah. Be right back. So I've just lit this. It's uh, starting to get going. I'm going to put my alcohol and my stove away. They go in this GSI mug. Just like that. Nice. Let this get going a bit more before we throw our pot on. I don't know if you can see, but it is gasifying. Like all the smoke is right down in here. And that gets burned off. That's what's cool about these twig burners. They're relatively smoke free. That will set the pot on. Now, I shouldn't have to feed this. At least I'm not gonna. This should boil the water that's in there. There's two cups that we can make our lunch with. Yeah. But we'll just keep an eyeball on that. That is done. I'll take the pot off, put it in the cozy, add my noodles and stuff. And then I'll keep feeding these flames just to keep, uh, keep a little bit of fire going so I can boil some water or heat up some water to clean up with. All right, that's it. That is she. Not too bad, huh? There it is in full burn mode. Nice. Just burn whatever, anything. Let me just keep that going so I can clean up. All right. So, just a few words on the twig stove and why I like it. Food, uh, wood processing is a breeze. You just grab twigs, you break them up, you can burn anything pine cones, reeds, whatever. It does burn quick. Uh, you don't have sparks flying all over the place like you do with large uh, pieces of wood. And um, you don't uh, leave any trace. Everything stays in that can and the ash you just dump out at the end. Very nice. And you can have it anywhere. You can move it. I could pick it up and move this closer to the water or away from my tent. I don't have a tent here today, but... And so it's really easy to manage, easy to control. If you're just boiling water or uh, cooking noodles or something, it's really, really easy to deal with. And um, I guess it's a luxury item. I don't know. <laughs> I just really like it. That's all. Isn't that enough? God damn it. That's it. Lunch is done. Easy squeezy, nothing to it. Now whenever you cook over an open fire with your pot, it's going to get stuff stuck to it. Right? And so I took my windscreen and I also had a little piece of foil that I always keep in the bottom of my cozy. So that's what gets sticky and not the pot cozy. Well, that's pretty groovy. Works just the way it's supposed to. Gotta love it. Practice, practice, practice. There we go. So the fire is down to just some hot coals in the fire pot. I just threw on some water to heat up so that I could clean the pot and my spoon. 
and then we'll disperse the ashes and uh, start making our way back to the snake pit. Oh, Janda. Here we go. <clears throat> We've left no trace. We've packed everything away, including our trash, can and lid. We'll pack up the chair and head on home. Thanks for tagging along, y'all. Come again sometime.